This busy actress wants a backyard where she can relax. I hope we can get that real soon because it looks awful right now. CCH Pounder is a seasoned actress who appears on the acclaimed television series, The Shield. One of the things I like to do is entertaining, and if I invite 10 people, usually 30 people show up, so the yard's a really important part of the house. With the house in shape, Cece's finally ready to focus on her long-neglected backyard, and she knows just the feel she wants to create. When you walk out of the backyard, the peace and tranquility kind of gets infused in the garden, and so it's a really private domain. But at the moment, it doesn't feel so private. This very public square lot is located on a busy corner that allows for little privacy. This is where I'd want to entertain, but I've got a problem. But seeing the street, hearing the cars, and I need some kind of marvelous way to create a sort of sanctuary back here. And then on the other side, my neighbor's fence is old and falling down. So I need to create a fence over on that side for her and for myself. So an entire sense of sanctuary with the canopy of the trees overhead, that's what we're after. The opposite corner would make a great hangout for Bubakar. My husband is a cigar smoker, so I wanted to get him as far out of the house as possible. But I'd love to create this area just for him. Along the side of the yard, the garden has seen better days. This is sort of the embarrassment of any green thumber. This is my vegetable patch, believe it or not. The idea is to have vegetables and cut flowers mixed together with a lovely kind of backdrop that would go here. My landscape design style is predominantly Mediterranean, but I always try to bring an eclectic twist to it, create some sort of an exotic oasis. I think what will surprise Cece most about my design is that I'm going to combine some Caribbean influences along with some African ones. And I think that will be a very comfortable environment for her and her husband to live in. I actually don't think that this water feature is properly sited. So I'd like to see it move to another part of the garden where it can become a focal point. Her plan envisions unique outdoor rooms drawing inspiration from the elements of fire, water, earth, air, and magic. So coming through the pergola, you're going to be walking into quite a vast expanse and we will select individual pots for their beauty and their character and marry them with some fabulous tree that will be maybe 12 feet high. The various hardscapes will be replaced with decomposed granite, colored to match the house and tamped down like a French garden. In the corner, the pot fountain will be relocated to make room for a new dining area. I fell in love with your African bird sculpture. And so we're going to feature him. I'm seeing a dining room table here, and above it, the bird, which represents the element of air. And there will be a vertical bamboo fence behind it that will range up to 12 feet and have kind of a jagged edge to it. Along the back wall, Laura's created a whole new outdoor room. I know you like cobalt blue. Right, I love <laughs> and it. And we're going to use that pot. Go so great. you don't lose oh, your pot. great. <laughs> We're going to place this here on a bed of turquoise rock and turquoise glass. And this is to evoke visions of the Caribbean. Succulents, red bananas, and bougainvillea give a lush look to the area. In the corner of the yard, a giant angel's trumpet cascades over a special space for Bubakar. This area here I envision as representing the element of fire. So yes. I'm thinking we could have a fire pit here in the center. We'll take some of your pots and we'll plant those up with other plantings that have citrus blossoms and orange fruit. On the side of the property, the brick wall is painted green to look like stacked bamboo. A dragonfly sculpture with an espalier fig tree overlooks the new vegetable garden. From there, this cobalt blue dragonfly will fall right down flat mm -hmm. and you will see symbolic wings with silver time that will shimmer in the light and in between those plantings we'll have Beautiful. squash, tomatoes, basil, rosemary. Great. So overall it's going to feel very magical. As a final touch, Laura would prune and shape the cedar to restore its grandeur then add plantings around the trunk. We'll turn this into a little deck and use toss pillows on this deck to create a cozy little corner will create a more intimate seating area than you have anywhere else in the garden. Oh, that sounds lovely, Laura. It does. That sounds just great. 